Clive, it's the end of a busy day today. What has that day entailed for you? Well, we're here um, in, in the Sports Science and Conditioning Department. We, we have the players um, come in for about half an hour before training. Uh, we do a battery of monitoring, tests on them every day. Um, just trying to really check, make sure that they're, they're recovered well from previous day's training and get them prepared for, for today's session. Um, all the lads have gone on, they put their GPS monitors on and that sort of stuff. Um, they're out on the field, they trained hard this morning. Um, it's game day minus three, so we're just preparing for the game at the weekend. Um, working hard today on, uh, on the defensive work um, and how we're going to go through from there. And then we come back in, there's, there's video work, um, players have some snacks. Uh, and that sort of stuff, and there's a bit of downtime and recovery. And then we split into two, two or three groups, um, and they'll do then uh, some positional video work uh, with the coaches, um, and then they're in, in the gym as well working, so we've done a weight training session um, with the players, and then they switch around. So ev everyone does the off-field stuff, everyone's in the gym, um, and then the physios are doing the work in and around that, in between with the players. And after that, then it's lunch, and then we'll sit down and analyse all the data and review it, and then look at what that means for tomorrow's training session and the game coming up. So you mentioned the GPS uh, technology and the, the use of data. That's a big part of the, the sport now. Oh, for us, it's, it's, it's huge. And we're on a big learning curve here um, with you know, a brand new squad of players, um, players who are, who are very experienced and, and players who are first, first year professional and, and very, very low training age. So it's, it's really important for us that we're able to monitor exactly what they do um, and you know we, we've got a lot of data now on all of the players. Um, it tells us how hard the sessions are. It tells us how hard the players are working relative to how hard we want them to work. It tells us how far they've gone, how fast they've gone. We can use it to, to pull players when they've gone a certain distance from a training session. We can use it to push players on a bit if we need them to work harder. Um, and then we compare all the training data, the game data, because they all wear GPS units in the game as well. So for us, it's, it's really invaluable in in building that picture of what it is that we need to do day in, day out on a training field to prepare for, for the demands of Super League. With having experienced players and relatively newcomers, I, do you tailor individual programmes to individual needs? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've got a squad of players and, and so we have, a, you know, we have team training, if that makes sense, but every player's physical programme is, is individual and tailored towards them. So... Um, work very closely with the medical staff and we've, we've got an excellent medical staff here um, and, and we work together to say what are, what are the players needs in terms of their injury prevention so they get an individualised injury prevention programme and that leads typically into warm up for the gym sessions all their gym sessions are completely individualised so we work around strengths, around weaknesses uh, if players need more volume they get it if they need less volume they get it um, if they've played more games they'll get a different programme than someone who hasn't played at the weekend or etc so yeah, all those kind of things we, you know, we work through. So the, the, the physical side of work is completely individualised for every player. First half of the season, uh, quite difficult, I think. And um, in terms of keeping the players' fitness, was it a big jump uh, to, to try and catch up with everybody else in Super League? No, the players, they weren't really hard pre-season. I think, you know, it's... Uh, uh, I think last time we, we spoke and did this, I said it was going to be the toughest pre-season I ever delivered, and, and you know, and it was. The players worked really hard, responded really well to what you know, and and they were doing that as we were building our system, as we were moving things through. It was a new gym, we 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 had didn't have the pitch installed then. Now we've got a training pitch here, which is which is great for us, um, and the players responded really well to that. Obviously, you know, the week in week out demands of Super League is something that is, is very difficult to prepare for from a, from a physical perspective and a coaching perspective um, and you know there, there are times when, when you look and go on, you know have, have they done what we want them to do fitness wise but you, you've got to look at you know going repeat set repeat set defend 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 That's, that, that is difficult to do but the key thing is, is, is that in many games we're still in the arm wrestle and that's getting better and better and better as performances get you know more successful. We, we beat Wigan in the last minute um, early on. We came close to Catalan right at the end of the game. We ran St Helens really close towards the end in, you know, in the last few minutes. They're the kind of things that we're looking at and saying, yeah, you know, we, we are moving in the right direction. Things are going the right way. What, is there an element as well that you can only really get fit for Super League by playing Super League? Yeah, I don't think that we'd ever, I don't think we'd ever advocate trying to, you know, you get fit by playing, but Match fitness is something that you only get by by, by playing in games. You know, and when when players haven't played for a while, that's that's one of the things that we need to use 
um, both high intensity training sessions, but also the you know the under twenties programs and that sort of stuff to try and get them back up to speed so they don't get straight away get thrown in when they're not match fit and, and not ready for it. And that's how that's how injuries happen. But no, I think we we you know we work really hard to try and try and do that. And and also for the players who are playing week in week out, we've got to make sure they get the appropriate amount of rest as well. Um, I think that you know some people forget that it's not necessarily in training that you physically get better. In training, we work hard and, and tire people out. It's when they recover that they get better. So we do a lot of work with them on their lifestyle and, and what they do away from here, um, working with, with Ed Tooley, the nutritionist, um, to, to try and get that sort of that sort of key messages in that we, we really need them to be taking care of themselves away from here as well. We're in the gym at the moment and we've got the eye picture. Have we got things, facilities and systems at Witness that other Super League clubs wouldn't have access to? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we the franchise system really works well for us. You know, the licensing uh, works really well. Um, in the we've got three years to build. You know, the, the I think that the club's really taken a very very smart approach towards that. In that we've had time. We've we've built a gym. We've got a training pitch. We've got um, ice baths installed. We've got a sports science department now. We've got links with with Liverpool John Moores University. We, we've built a staff and we've built a system here, and we put players into it. Um, and the players have grown with, grown with that system, you know. And now it gives us a chance, year two and year three, to kick on with that system and you know bring in more players, change more players, and also we've then got players who've developed within the system that we've got. So, um, you know, I think that we've been really lucky in, in having the backing of the club um, and the board to make those decisions and. And also, Dennis, as a coach, is is really focused towards that longer term vision. It's not just about what we do here and now. And you know, he's challenging me every day to come up with, oh, you know, show me that we're going the right way. Show me that show me the systems work to grow this. And and we we really have got you know the, the data to prove we're going to do the testing way. and the fitness test results show that we're definitely going in the right in the right way for us. Um, and looking at all the other the things we've got, we we want to carry on moving towards that. Though um, I'm never happy. I'm never going to be happy with the players' fitness. You know, we always want to get better, always want to improve things. Um, will things change? Uh, in terms of the nature of what we do, we'll probably do do less, but we'll do it more intensely because we're now prepared to do that um, physically. And we're already well done the way of planning our next pre-season and, and looking to what, what we want to do, um, you know, want to do moving forwards. So uh, I, I think that's that's a really important first thing for us now is, is that, you know, we, we've got a number of wins left in this team yet. You know, we want to we want to kick on and show people what winners Vikings can really do in year zero in Super League. I mean, we're we're building from scratch. You know, and we want we want to take that forward, and, and everything will be geared towards those performances at the weekend. But with an ever increasing eye on what we're going to do to make it better for next year, and and moving things forward.